Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to clone your desktops or laptops hard drive containing your Windows operating system. This method works for all Windows version and is same for both the desktop and laptops. Cloning your drive helps you to make an exact copy of your Windows operating system and data of your desktop or laptop without losing your Windows license and without losing any files, folders, settings or applications. Cloning is usually done when you want to upgrade your storage from hard drive to SSD to improve speed and performance or upgrade your smaller SSD storage to a larger SSD storage. This method works for all Windows version and is same for both the desktop and laptops. For this you are going to need a SATA to USB connector to connect the external drive to the desktop or laptop. And you can easily purchase this connector online. You won't see the SSD drive when connected. Like here in my PC only the hard drive is visible. That's because you have to allocate a drive to the SSD. For this, you have to go to Disk Management. And here if GPT is selected, then click on OK. Here you can see that your SSD is unallocated and the unallocated drive is denoted by black color. Here in the unallocated drive, right click on the mouse button, then click on New Simple Volume, then click on Next. Then here you can allocate disk size. As I want a single drive, I will leave the volume size full and then click on Next. Here assign a drive letter and click on Next. Then here also click on Next and then click on Finish and your SSD drive gets allocated and like the rest of the drives the black line will turn to blue. After which your SSD will start showing as your PC drive as you can see here. After this you have to download the cloning tool. There are many free cloning apps that are easily available to clone but I will be using the Macrium Reflect Free. For this search for Macrium Reflect then click here in its official page, the link of which you will find in the description box. The Macrium Reflect is not totally free, but you can use the trial version, which will get your work done to clone your disk. And even when the trial period ends, you can still use the cloned disk. Then click on Home Users, then click on Download Free Trial. Here, we need to choose which architecture you want to deploy. If you have Windows 11, then choose 64-bit. But if you are on any previous versions of Windows, then you need to check your architecture. To do so, go to Control Panel. Then click on System. Here you can see your architecture in system type. As mine is 64-bit, I will select it. Then after this, you will have to register and to do so, you have two options. In the first option, enter your first name here, then last name, then email here, then create a password from here. In the second option, you can sign up using your Google or Microsoft account. Then here click on No then click on register. After your registration completes, your download starts. After download completes, open the downloaded file. Then here you have to click on next Click on Next and then select I accept the terms in license agreement and click on Next. And here you have to click on Next. Click on Next. And here you have to click on Next. Then click on Next here and click on Install. After installation completes, click on Finish. Then restart the computer. Then open the Macrium Reflect and you will see a page like this showing the different disk. In my PC, I have three disks with disk volume named C to G. Here it might seem that there are more disk volumes, but it is not so. And if you look closely, you can see this is volume C, this is D, this is E, this is F, and this is G. 
My C disk is the main drive containing the Windows operating system, which I will be cloning. To clone, click on clone this disk. Then here you can see only the disk one as the source. To see the other disk, click here to select a different source. Then click on the disk you want to clone. As I want to clone disk C, I will select it by clicking on it. Then click here to select on which disk you want to clone it to. Then select the disk volume where you want it to be copied. And then select the source from where you want it to be cloned from. Then click on next. Then click on next. Then click on finish. Then click on OK and you will see a warning that your drive will be overwritten. So here you have to select this and click on continue. After which your cloning starts. This process takes time to complete, which depends on your data size. When this process completes, your cloning will be complete. Hope you found this video helpful. If so, then please do like this video and subscribe to my channel.